after finding a black widow spider in the house last week, and then another one this week, finally got the time to go through the entire house looking in nooks and crannies, looking for more spiders, and of course the dreaded spider egg sacs. Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. It's been a couple years since we had a problem with black widow spiders in our house, and that was our old house that burned down and then we're in a new place, and then we've been spider free, or at least black widow spider free, for the last couple of years. Black widow spiders don't live in our area, so, you know, they shouldn't be here. Now, what's common in our area, and we found them in this new place, is the occasional giant house spider, but nowhere near as many as in our last place. And strangely enough, when we first moved in here, we found quite a few teeny tiny jumping spiders. Haven't seen any of those in a long time, and maybe one or two of those icky, scary, big black spiders. People call them, I don't know what they call them, angry spiders. Or anyway, yeah, ugh. We've seen a couple of those, but Black Widow spiders, I mean, we've been spider-free, and they shouldn't be here anyways. Really quick rundown, I used to buy a lot of used toy collections online, used to do a lot of toy videos on my other channels, bought this big toy collection from Southern California, and then it wasn't but a week or so afterwards, we started seeing Black Widow spiders. I mean, they shouldn't be here. All it takes is one spider or some egg sacs, and then bam, they're everywhere. You know, we had... Two different exterminators. I mean, it cost like $780. Two different exterminators tried two different methods to get rid of them. Couldn't get rid of the spiders. So we'd hunt them down and catch them, and I made a bunch of videos about them. Yeah, and then eventually we had a house fire, and we don't live there no more. Problem solved, right? And on a quick side note, one of the scariest things was when I started making videos about the Black Widow spiders, people would start sending me weird things in the mail. Look, here's a snake in the mail. Here's a scorpion. Try this scorpion. It'll kill your Black Widow spiders. By the way, don't touch it. It's venomous and it'll kill you. And over that period of time, we became pretty good experts on Black Widow spiders. Did a lot of reading on them, experienced a lot, made a lot of videos with them. So yeah, I kind of know Black Widow spiders. So you might uh, understand how disappointed, uh, how frustrated, how terrified we were to find a black widow spider now in this place. At first we thought it might be one of those false black widows, we have those around here, but no, it was a black widow and we caught it and I made a quick video with it. Then I caught a second black widow spider. Ooh, there's two. Okay, it ain't just one wandering around. So I did a search and I found an egg sack and we're gonna open it up today. This egg sack is pretty dark and the darker an egg sack is, as it's been my experience that the darker it is, the closer it is to hatching. We've opened up several Black Widow egg sacs in other videos. We've cut them open under a microscope and had baby spiderlings just boil out of there. You know, just terrifying thing of nightmares. And then we've had just plain eggs in there. And then we've also found non-viable egg sacs where you could clearly see there was something wrong with the little eggs in there. They were discolored. They were misshapen. They weren't, yeah, so... Anyways, we're going to open up the egg sac we found here, and we're going to see how close to hatching it is. Now, we found the best way to open an egg sac is you do it on top of one of those fly, bug, or mouse sticky boards. It will hold the egg sac in place as you're working on it and cutting through there with tweezers and a knife. And when the little monsters escape, if they're viable... They get stuck in the glue. But remember, they are so tiny. Any little, you know, outward breath, a big exhale, wind, or anything, they could just sling up a web and float away. So there is that risk. So sticky board, and then inside some kind of plasticky container that gives you a little bit of wall so you don't have breezes coming through. That's very important, too. We are not going to open this up under the microscope. And there's a couple different reasons for it. And really, we, we've seen what it looks like under a microscope. I just need to open this up and see, hey, are these about to hatch? Are these close to hatching? Are they already hatching? Yeah, yeah, or are they nowhere near hatching? Yeah, okay, these, these eggs, they don't look like they're close to hatching, which is weird because, uh, like I said, the egg sac was on the dark side, so that is kind of weird. Now remember, a black widow spider only has to mate once in her life. After getting it on, she'll hold that spider sperm in her, and then she will just use it the rest of her life to crank out egg sacs. And we have learned in the past that if you feed them well, so you put a black widow spider in a container and you just start putting crickets in there, if she is fed well, one time four egg sacs produced in a week. Now, how is that possible? 
when you see a black widow spider and their abdomen, their body part is all puffed up, they, they got what it needs in there to make an egg sac. Egg sac, you'll see, is kind of shrunk down. But as long as there's a lot of food coming in, they can crank out a lot of those babies. And we've also seen, if you put one in a jar, forget it's in there, and come back months later. This had to have been three months later. The spider was still alive. Yeah, that was weird. And it didn't lay any egg sacs. We have seen them lay egg sacs. Spiderlings hatch and they eat the spiderlings, recycle them, and then lay another egg sac. You know, making your own food. And of course, creepy as hell. All right. All right, now, really quick, I'm going to show a clip right here of where I found this. It was under the cabinets there, that little thing, you know, where the floor molding would be. Additionally, we learned that we really need some floor molding in there or painting or something because I never got down here and looked. It looks like crap. I guess nobody sees it, so, you know, it's superficial. But really, this should be painted down here and not have uh, paint and then stain from the cabinets on it, too. But, you know, well, spiders liked it, right? All right, so that I've gone on long enough, I will keep you updated on what's going on. So far, we are at the count of two Black Widow spiders and one egg sack. And uh, I've been working a lot last week. I have a couple days off. I'll poke around and I'll do another search and we'll see what we can find. Hopefully, we won't find any more egg sacks. Hopefully, we won't find any more Black Widow spiders. So, what do you think? Have you seen a Black Widow spider? Do you know about Black Widow spiders? And hey, don't leave the comment. Hey, just put it outside. You can't put it outside. It's an invasive species. It will harm the local ecosystem. So you have to eliminate it, destroy it. Remember, don't flush it down the toilet because sometimes they come back. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.